Okay, here's a quick video on um, how to fault find uh, the water softener when it's not uh, using salt <coughs> and uh, not drawing the brine out of the salt cabinet. On the right hand side of the valve here, you'll see we've got this white elbow on the side and this is where the flexible hose that comes up out of the cabinet pushes into that. It's just a push fit connection. Um, so first of all, if we want to find out if we've got any suction here, the best thing to do is to undo this brass nut and then you can remove the elbow. Undo the nut. Okay. And then we should be able to wiggle the elbow out. Bit of a snug fit. Okay, so that's the elbow out. We've just got a, a hole here. Next thing we need to do is put the water softener into brine drawer. So we press the middle button, hold that for five seconds. Obviously we need the water to still be on while we're doing this. So uh, first it will go to backwash. I'll just pause this while, I, while it gets there to save wasting time. Okay, so now we're in backwash and we can then press the middle button and make it go to the next cycle which is brine draw and uh, I won't advance it through that it shouldn't take long to get there <clears throat> and when the uh, machine gets to brine draw you should be able to feel a suction here if you just put your finger over that orifice you should feel it you should, you should be able to feel the vacuum so it's still still you, I can feel the motor is still driving the gears around to get it into brine drawer at the moment when it's actually in brine drawer it will start counting down the period of time that it stays in brine drawer as you'll see in a moment shouldn't take long Okay, it's now in brine drawer and it's going to stay in brine drawer for 40 minutes. And at this point, you should be getting a vacuum here when you put your finger over it. It should be quite a good strong suction. If anything else happens, like it's not sucking, or even worse, it's actually filling out of this orifice, water coming out of it, that's a sure sign that you've got an injector problem. Okay, so now I'll show you how to fix an injector fault. First, I'll get it back round to home again by pressing the middle button until it gets all the way there. I'll just pause this while, it do, while I do that. Okay, now I've uh, cycled the machine back round to the home position and I'm going to disconnect the power. And then I would strongly suggest that you, uh, well, insist that you isolate the water softener from the mains water supply by turning off the inlet and outlet valves. Um, that will um, stop you getting any leaks or anything like that and then the first thing we need to do is to unscrew what we call the injector housing i'll turn it sideways so you can see it we've got two screws here and here they're stainless steel screws with a phillips head and you need to undo those two screws when you do this you will get some water coming out under a bit of pressure it's just the pressure that's in the water softener just allow that to dribble out put a cloth under it or something and then as it starts to drop away you can undo the screws the rest of the way so just undo them one at a time there's one and there's the other Okay, so got our two screws off. That allows us to remove what we call the injector cap, which is this part here. You'll see it's got an O ring around this big opening. Make sure that stays in place, don't lose it. Next, we have a screen filter which goes in the bottom. Put that to one side. And what we're trying to get at is this blue thing here. That's part of the injector. The injector's in two parts. 
and you need uh, a flat headed screwdriver to uh, remove it. So we will just a bit tight. There we go. So oops, that's part one of the injector. You'll see the hole through the middle of it. If that hole gets blocked up and it's quite small then the injector won't work and you won't get any brine draw so it might be worth passing a pin or something like that through that hole just to make sure it's nice and clear and then inside using the same screwdriver we need to unscrew the second part of the, of the injector. This is the part they call the injector throat the other part's the nozzle and once we've done that then you need to fiddle it out I can just turn it over but you may have to put a, a, a needle in there or something in order to shake it out and that's what it looks like again it's got a hole through the middle of it that needs to be clear in order for it to create the vacuum to draw the brine so take these two purple parts clean them out and then put them back in again the uh, throat part first and that goes back in there dum, dum. just not too tight then the nozzle goes back in there Okay, then the filter that goes back in the bottom. Make sure that's nice and clean. Give it a wash out if necessary. Put it on there. Make sure your O-ring's in place around here. And put that back on there. Take your two screws and put them in. And then do this up so that each side is about the same kind of tension so don't go screwing one side in completely tight before you do the other one up at all so here we go start feeling a little bit of resistance and go to the other one screw that in tighten that up tighten that one back up another tweak here and we're done Connect your elbow back up, or if you like, you can now put it into a test, go into take it through the cycle, take it to brine draw, and make sure you've got a vacuum here. Now, if you've got a vacuum here and it's still not drawing brine, that means you have an air leak. Instead of the, the machine sucking up water, it, it would far rather suck in air. And so if there's a tiny leak on maybe where the hose is maybe not pushed in properly into this elbow, then it will suck air in and it won't suck any water up so make sure these fittings are in properly to give you an idea the, um, here's a tube and you'll see it goes into there quite a long way like that and once it's in it shouldn't come out very easily it needs to go right into sort of that far pushing it in a little tiny bit won't work um, so check that if you need to and then follow the hose back and you'll find it goes onto another push fit connector uh, inside the brine tank make sure that's connected as well and then you should get brine drawer you should be able to put it into brine drawer and um, with water in the cabinet you should see the water level go down quite slowly but if you if you look for a few minutes you see there will be, will be a difference you can always put a pencil mark on the inside of the cabinet to watch it go down and that should fix your problem okay thanks a lot bye